All right. So we're going to be talking about Sith today. We've got Sith Eternal Emperor, the trio, and Talon. I'm going to show off the mods real quick. Uh, these are how I have them modded normally, so I'm not updating them for the event. Over 200,000 health, 487 speed. Petraea, I have her built tanky. She's got a good amount of protection. A little bit of tenacity there. Scion, I like fast, 305. I want him to spread pain quickly. Helps uh, now this, you know, increase cooldown, reduce his own cooldown, all that. Here is Nihilus. He's pretty much the, uh, the driving force behind this whole thing. Between his cooldown reduction, his ability to eat people, his uh, buff dispel on his basic is going to be super helpful here. And Talon. 285. She hits pretty hard, though. So, that's the important thing for her. Uh, though, we pretty much just use her basic throughout most of the fight here. Uh, so, this is the uh, the new territory battle, Rise of the Empire. Uh, end game of end game content here. This is still only phase one, so minimum relic five. Everybody here is relic seven. Scion is relic eight. Sith Eternal Re Emperor is relic eight. Uh, I was asked to do this video because uh, I did this event yesterday and I got uh, two for two. Uh, so there are two phases and we're going to hope that we have our ultimate saved up for the second phase. Uh, ideally, I'd have another Annihilate for the second phase. Uh, last time Scion died in phase one, which is uh, okay-ish. Uh, but we're going to come over here and we're going to link up Droidica and the command battle droid. get rid of all those buffs, including that uh, damage immunity. Alright, now we're going to increase all their cooldowns, reduce his cooldowns. Basic to reduce her cooldown. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one we isolate, so we'll isolate the one that is uh, already ability blocked and pass that on over to Nihilus. We're going to just call everybody to assist. It's going to restore some of that protection. And, of course, on the basics, we have uh, people reducing their own cooldowns. Uh, Talon does, and so does Nihilus, because he was removing a buff. And we get to eat the first one. We're going to try to annihilate two of them before we get to the next phase here. Uh, we're going to come over here to that B2 and slap him pretty hard, hopefully get some protection back. Uh, we will come to this B1 battle droid basic to reduce cooldowns again. I very rarely use her second move just because uh, it's really somewhat unnecessary. I'll only use it if, like, she's absolutely going to kill somebody, and then I'm going to get the opportunity to go again. Uh, so now we go ahead and increase in cooldowns for them, reduce his cooldowns. Counter kills are always nice. We will take those. Freebies. Held by Hatred. Now this heals him and uh, gives him another turn, but he does not revive because of Sith Eternal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use her leap here. Alright, nobody has any buffs, so we're just going to hit him with a basic. Uh, we're going to call everybody to assist here again, restoring some protection, reducing everybody's cooldowns. Uh, another basic here. And Scion's gone. Again, it, that happened last time, pretty much at the exact same time, so uh, I'm not upset. We're going to hope that we can get through this one just like we did last time. 
Uh, that might kill him. I guess we'll, we'll try it. Let's let's do it. Oh, and it did. Uh, we'll just basic here. Uh, we are not going to have the ultimate right at the start of the next phase, but that's okay. We're going to save on to all of his cooldowns here. Uh, let's go ahead and just basic. Let's try to basic our way through this whole thing. Get to the next phase. Now, the last time I did this, I did end up having to link a tank, uh, which is always sad, but it is what it is. Uh, oh, actually, this time, we're going to be able to go ahead and eat the tank that's taunting. That's a, that's a great start right there. Uh, and so... We're going to link that droidica. And we'll link Watt. His attacks out of turn, uh, once he spreads those uh, attacks, should help us uh, increase mastery as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this for sleep. Oh, she's gone, but that's okay. That's going to restore everybody else. Uh, we're going to go ahead and reduce Nihilus' cooldowns here. Last time around this time, I hit full auto. I'm going to go ahead and play it. Uh, and last time it was only Nihilus and Sith Eternal surviving. So we're going to see if we can keep Trey alive this time. That would be pretty cool. Not terribly necessary. We're going to come over here and try to get those stacks lowered. Ooh, all right. Well, that was that. So, uh, nope, Treya did not survive this time. Uh, nobody's mad about that, though. We're going to go ahead and whittle these guys away. Uh, we'll link these two, because why not? Again, that'll increase his uh, protection recovery. It'll increase his mastery as we go. Uh, we're just going to basic here, get rid of the taunt, and then try to get rid of B2 Super Battle Droid quick. All right, we'll just go ahead and eat him. Come over here, basic that. And the rest is pretty easy from here. Um, for, this is exactly how it went last time, more or less. Um, Nautilus has taken a little bit more damage than last time. I think I got... Uh, well, again, it doesn't matter. Got the win. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, and I think fairly easy to replicate. I, you know, 